Okay, so you've made it all the way through the computer vision process to the point where you have a trained model. After your model finishes training, it will be converted into a number of deployment destinations. One of those is the web hosted inference API, and another one of those is your Luxonis Oak device. So the web hosted inference API is where your model will run inference on a cloud server, and there is some latency when you're posting an image uh, back and forth and getting data back and forth from this but we recommend testing against this web hosted inference API as you're developing. And you can even be developing before you get your Luxonis Oak device to try to make sure that you know, your, your uh, model is inferring in the way that you want it before you deploy it onto your Oak device. So in the next example, we'll show you an example of, uh, of going up there and debugging against the web hosted inference API. And then we'll show you how to spin up the Oak inference server. This is so you can leverage your model to do inference directly on your Oak device. So the way this inference server is set up is the Luxonis team has published a Docker image that has all of the installs you need for your device to run on your, on your Linux machine. And once you spin up that server, that uh, Docker server, then you'll be able to uh, post Git requests to it to get both uh, either the image with the detections around it or you'll be able to get a JSON response of the just the raw predictions that your model is making against the image that your Oak is seeing. And so you're just kind of drawing predictions out of your Oak by posting Git requests, by, by making Git requests to the Oak inference server. So we'll dive in here a little bit more hands-on to exactly how all of the mechanics of these things work. And of course, um, in addition to this video, um, you can always go to docs.roboflow.com and you can go to the inference section and see all of these things written out in, in gory detail on, on our docs for the inference backslash uh, Oak inference server. So now let's go ahead and dive hands on with the Oak inference server on my own machine. Okay, so let's dive in here to starting the Oak inference server and using the Oak inference server in order to make uh, get requests to be getting uh, Oak inference from our Oak device. So. Um, here, uh, you can see here that um, I'm on my Ubuntu machine and I've started, uh, I've finished training a model on mask wearing, so this is identifying whether people are wearing a mask or not. And rewinding back here a little bit, you can see here that I'm looking at the exact endpoint that has been provided after the mask wearing data set has been trained. And after your model has been trained, I encourage you to take a look at the example web app um, which is where you'll see basically your model path and you'll see your I API key and version for the data set that you have trained your, your computer vision model on. And the example web app is a good way to prototype just to kind of make sure that uh, everything is running well, at least in cloud inference. And that, that, that's a good way uh, that you can uh, test your model against an example image. So here I'll, I'll take an example image, run this against the uh, web app. So this inference is happening on the cloud here where you see this inferring down here and you can see that a mask was detected so you can see that the model is functioning normally on images on, on uh, the cloud inference server. This is a really important step to uh, be kind of just making sure that everything works before you head on down uh, into your, your Oak device. So yeah we run inference a few times there and then um, I'll start thinking about going into the Oak inference server here. So um, this here, this command is the command that you need to run to launch the Oak inference server and it's located over here at docs.roboflow.com. Um, so you can see here I'm going through the docs and showing uh, where exactly you can find this command. So this is a command that basically pulls down our uh, Oak inference server container which has been built on top of the Luxonis. Uh, Docker container, so it has all of the pre-installs that you need uh, to get started up on running your Oak on your device. Um, so as we've said here, you know, your Oak is already plugged into your device, the USB is already connected, the, the Oak is already hooked up. And the next step you want to go to is this localhost 9001 backslash validate. So this will give you an idea of if your uh, Oak device is connected correctly. And um, at the bottom of the docs.roflow.com backslash oak inference, um, when, you, when you go to that page, you'll see some troubleshooting for if this get request here to the backslash validate is not working, 
then you have some work to do on uh, basically setting up, up your Oak device. The next step here is to go to localhost 9001 backslash Coco. So this one runs the, uh, the Coco model just to uh, kind of get an example prediction of um, people uh, in the scene or you know various common objects. So Coco is a good one to try running just to make sure that um, detections are being made on, on a model that's already well trained and not, not on your specific data set. Now jumping into running inference with your particular model that you have trained, um, you can go here to localhost 9001 backslash your model endpoint, which is what we saw at the beginning there. So your model endpoint backslash your version. And then in the access token field, you put in the same API key that you got from when you were on the, um, on the example web app. So there's that API key on the example web app. And that's the API key you put in there for this get request. Then you can uh, append any of the query string parameters that are on docs.robotflow.com after that. So here we have confidence equals five. Then you can go ahead and run to that and you'll see here that the model will start downloading. So the first time you run it, it will be a little slow. Model downloads from the Robotflow servers, caches into this uh, server that you have up, and then that get request will, will post there on the, the server that you have. And now you can start running this for predictions. So there we can see it's not finding anybody, now, but now I'm kind of pointing it at my face. And you can see uh, it's returning here back the class, the confidence of that box that it found, the height, width, x, y, x and y. So height and width is how uh, tall and long the box is. And then x is the, um, the middle of the box and y is the middle of the box. So to get the four corners, you, you can um, back that out from, from the predictions that, uh, that this API is sending back. Um, and this will be a list of all the de detections made. So you could have a bunch of a bunch of uh, different different detections. And like I said, this is just a GET request. So we're just hitting GET request against the server. So you can implement this in any language uh, you want: Python, JavaScript, um, anything where you can where you can uh, make a GET request to, uh, to the server that you you've spun up. Okay, so you've reached pretty much the end of the course. We've gone all the way from uploading images to annotating images, to organizing our data set, to training a, a custom computer vision model, to deploying that custom computer vision model in different destinations, including on the edge on our Oak device. And all of this has been, you know, quite the process and, and hopefully we've shown you how seamless it can really be to make it all the way through this entire process. Uh, there's one thing I, I just want to reflect on before we wrap up uh, the course today, and that is that the process is not necessarily done when you make the first inference on your Oak device. That, the, the process is sort of just getting started. So we've tried to make this pipeline easy enough to pass through and, and to redeploy models by just simply changing your version name that you will be wanting to iterate on your data set and continually retraining models to continue to hone into the domain destination that you want to be uh, that you want to be capturing. So if your oak isn't quite making the inferences that you want, uh, you know one thing that we highly recommend is starting to train on images that are directly sourced uh, from your oak device. So maybe you want to start using your oak to start pulling out uh, images from from the server and uh, sending those images back up to RoboFlow, relabeling and retraining and redeploying. That whole process is is called active learning and really it's one of the core tenants that uh, our entire platform is built on. So thanks for joining us in this course on learning how to upload, annotate, organize, train, and deploy. And of course, any questions you have, always shoot us a note, post below here. And if you enjoyed this course, uh, please like and subscribe and we'll always see you in the next video. So happy training and of course, happy inferencing.